Greetings and welcome back to the Hollywood Hills. Today we have a really special house. This one is clocking in at $19 million, six bedrooms and nine bathrooms at 1871 Stanley Drive. And the thing about Stanley Drive is the views. You know I'm drawn to views. This street has some of the best views in Los Angeles. You can see all the way from downtown, all the way to the beach, and you can also get wonderful vistas of the hillside and nature as well. This is a really special property with beautiful lines, and we're gonna explore it together. So come with me as we take a walk through 1871 North Stanley Drive. Okay, let's get this tour started. We enter this very architectural driveway, which leads us to one of the things I love about this home, which are these architectural motifs, which we're gonna see quite a few of. The parking garage. Yes, this is the garage with the most breathtaking view you could ever hope to have. We then proceed up a few very nicely placed travertine steps into the grand foyer, which is this two-story, rather breathtaking entrance to the home, which kind of bookends the tour with this very dramatic moment. Off of the entrance, we find a really sweet kind of reception lounge, complete with fireplace and ridiculous view. I'm going to traverse into the formal dining room, but I'm going to rush through it because I want to take you to my favorite part of the home, and that is the pool deck. It's simply breathtaking. You can see in the distance the glimmer of the ocean with the building's silhouettes in front of them. You have this marvelous sparkling pool, and as we pan east, you get to see some of the wonderful elements, including this overhang, which is one of my favorite elements of the whole house, which spans the entire pool deck beginning in the east and ending on the west side with the guest house. Once again, this property is a view property. We start with the West Hollywood Hills, and as we pan across, we see the Los Angeles Basin, heading towards downtown, and then for a moment once more, we get to enjoy this luscious pool deck. As we head into the kitchen, the architectural elements are still appearing. I love this electric in-counter stovetop and this conduction oven, which almost disappears. And this is practically the best place to do dishes in LA. Just to the right of the kitchen is this wonderful family room, which is all focused around this wonderful fireplace. You obviously have the view across the city, but one of the things I really love about this home is on the other side of the sitting room, you have this Zen garden, which was essentially built out of where there was a retaining wall and they did something architecturally significant. We head into the outdoor area of this home, a wonderful outdoor bar. The stone is marvelous. And I love these little beer taps, which are just a touch of fun. We then walk past this breakfast table on the patio, which leads us back to this absolutely delightful pool deck. This is my favorite moment of the whole house, so I'm just going to let you enjoy it for a second. We then venture to the upper level of this home, and we're going to begin with the owner's suite. We enter through a sitting room, which I think is a delightful touch. And then we are into the master bedroom, which has head-on views across the city. It, the light is gorgeous. The design is simplistic. I love everything about this bedroom. I can just imagine waking up in the morning, grabbing my espresso, leaning on this glass balcony and looking across my kingdom. Now, a home of this size obviously demands ample closets sumptuous closets and this home does not disappoint the west side of the closets have this wonderful picture window and these are all custom and there are plenty of them and then we have in the reverse the east side closets which are the same thing now these are all next to a wonderful and very sophisticated bathroom i love the stone counters that were chosen where the sink was carved literally out of the stone we have a gorgeous freestanding tub so i can enjoy my bubble bath and the view in complete privacy whilst having an abundance of light this is a wonderful architectural moment 
and we leave the master suite the same way we came in through this wonderful sitting room across this architectural bridge into the guest wing. This wing contains many bedrooms that are all en suite, all that have exceptional views. And I like the separation from the owner's suite to the guest area. Now we're going to go to the upper entertainment area, which is epic. You are literally hanging out in the sky. Again, the view just hits you in the face because it's elevated by 20, 30 feet from the pool deck and it seems to get wider and more endless. I'm gonna pan around the whole thing. So we have downtown and now we're looking back up into the Hollywood Hills and all the way across this entertaining area with these oversized sunbeds. There is more than enough room for any event. I think you could easily fit 50, 100, maybe 200 people up here. We continue by exploring the entertainment level, which is on the lower level of this home. We're met with this wonderful reception slash bar area, which has this waterfall countertop, which is just delightful. I love the contrast of the dark colors and the light colors. And then, like every home of this stature, it's not just about the entertaining. There's likely going to be something to be seen. So every home must have its own cinema, a screening room to boot. This one is wonderful. You can probably fit about 12 people in it comfortably. And I like that it cascades from the cinema back into the bar. That's a really nice touch. And then to the right of the bar, you have this wonderful interior, exterior party area, if you will, where people can hang out, tell jokes, drink into the night. And for those that enjoy a cigar, they can come outside and enjoy the spectacular view whilst doing so. Thank you so much for coming with me on another amazing tour of a staggeringly beautiful house in the Hollywood Hills. Which was your favorite part? Hit me in the comments, let me know, and let's have a chat. Until next time, this is Pete Lorimer, signing out. I'll see you later.